Welcome to today's vlog. I've actually just ended yesterday's vlog because we didn't do it last night because we got back <laughs> so from weird. York. Like, happens, <laughs> no, you're like, good night, guys. Good night, guys. Mwah. Just good morning, guys. <laughs> just stopped the camera and just restarted. <laughs> it is really weird behind the scenes when you do that. You're literally like, anyway, we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got back from York literally like late tea time so it was time to sort out dinner blah 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 the night just got away with us so we didn't end up vlogging too much we were spending time with the girls because we'd not seen them for most of the day so good morning it's a brand new day today we've had a busy 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 morning saturday morning in fact some of our lovely neighbors i'm so happy about this noticed that chris was doing the van conversion and noticed some like a double C in the drive in our garden, That's some amazing. kitchen cabinets that we're actually not using. And they noticed them there and they knocked on the door, was just like, you know, just generally being happy, nice and neighbourish. And then said that they're doing the same and they're converting a van and are we using all of the stuff in the drive? And obviously we're not. It was just gonna go like to recycling to the tip. It was like, oh, could we, would you mind if we took them off your hands? So they come and took some bits this morning and it's really exciting to have someone close by that's got the same in common. They're, they've all, they've already converted one van and travelled around in it, and they're now converting another one. And they're just they're, we we ended up with chatting to them for like an hour. So you have the same interest, so it's like cool. Yeah. So they like to travel. If you can, know, it's Chris, dad. dad. Chris is trying to get Ella back to Mila back to sleep. <laughs> anyway. What, what are we doing today, guys? What are we doing? doing Chris is about to head to Wix for some more wood. Let's go yeah. to the Maldives. Let's go to the Maldives. Oh, that sounds amazing oh, right oh, about oh, now, isn't it? Oh, 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 you want to laugh, Sam? I don't know if people remember, okay? Let's go for a Maldi, Jason said. I don't know if everyone remembers, but when we went to the Maldives, like in March, um, I think we probably did film it, but there was um, someone who worked there called Afsal and he got Jason he Orange yeah. and he's our best friend and we always think about him and we're like, we want to go back just to see we Afsal. We want to go see Afsal. He was amazing. <laughs> I was just looking at Mila's first ever Marie Bondo. This was a gift from Victoria oh, and Mary so and Mary Elena. From the Mary Shortle shop. It's okay. Mila's first ever reborn. They wanted to be the first to give her a reborn dolly, which is so adorable and so sweet. We'll be able to put this in her bedroom, won't we, until she's old no, enough to play drink. with it. Oh, that, no, 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 no Jace. It's please. not going for a car wash in Isabel's drink. <laughs> He's got his car literally like this. It's going to go for a car wash. In, uh, <laughs> it's going for a car wash. <laughs> no. Okay, all back from the shops and I'm about to do something that I am definitely not looking forward to. I've never done before and I'm very, very out of my comfort zone. Probably going to end up being kicked out of the house for because I've done it wrong and wasted the whole thing. Um, I'm about to wallpaper Mila's bedroom. I don't know if Sarah showed this or not yet, but this paper is insane. It's like the Mila Rose collection blankets that we have on Baby Me and it's just absolutely stunning. The colours are ridiculous, um, but it's actually very, very good, this wallpaper, because I don't need a paste brush or table to hang it. It's literally like a sticker with like really strong adhesive on the back that I just peel off and stick to the wall. <sighs> so y'all are thinking, what can go wrong? What are you complaining about? Well, you ain't gonna be kicked out of the house. This is me, right? and I'm definitely gonna hang this wrong. I'm definitely gonna do it wrong, and I'm definitely gonna be sleeping in the van tonight, without a doubt. Gonna need my sander. So first of all, before I can start doing any wallpaper, I'm gonna need to sand down all of this plaster that I did the other day. Make sure it's all smooth, and there's no little, little tacky bits hanging off of it. all the snuggles in the world today because she does not want to be put down not even for one single second we're just in here doing her you okay we're in here doing her uh, wallpaper and oh 
my goodness, it's the most stressful thing in the whole world. This wallpaper was not cheap because you have to, it's like from a small business as opposed to like a big chain store. And it's really cool, well I thought it was really cool because it comes as like giant sticker sheets that you just stick onto the wall instead of like using plaster, blah blah blah. Trying to line it up is a nightmare. So whilst I'm already filthy, the sun is out and I've got a little bit of time before dinner, I decided I'm gonna go crack on with a little bit of the van. So I thought I'd just show you guys like where we're at, what's going on. So basically at the minute, it obviously looks a big mess in the roof because I've got it all down in patches so that I can start installing all the electricals and the extra lights that I'm putting in and the max air fans that I'm putting in here and I'm putting in down there. I've already removed that one. It's already out, the skylight's not out. It's the, uh, the bracket that holds it all in is out. Um, they've not arrived, they're due to arrive tomorrow, so fingers crossed they're gonna and we can get them straight in. So far, today I've been working on covering the sofa areas, so making the, the hinged lift up compartments and stuff. This is the U-shaped sofa area that's gonna like sit us all in the daytime and stuff. At the back here, I'm about to finish making the shelf piece that's gonna go on there to box all of this side piece off. I installed these, it's just like a, like a big pull down open cupboard and inside there the girls will have like loads of private storage for their own bits and bobs. And then obviously, like we've spoken about before, mine and Sarah's bed rests on the top part here and goes into the roof during the daytime, so it's out of the way. I've still got to do this side. Obviously the framework's in, I've got to um, attach all the box, which is here, it's all cut to shape. It's just already to be attached and hinged and all the rest of the good stuff. Um, I'm kind of trying to concentrate right now on making sure I've got all the wood cuts that I need because on a night time I can be in here with the doors shut and I can be drilling and hammering and making as much noise as I want and no one can really hear me outside so it's all good but um, in the daytime I cannot be like obviously I can't be sawing like loud saws and stuff outside at night time so I'm trying to get all the cuts of wood done that I need and then at night I can just come in here and bash it all together kind of thing so that's basically where I'm at right now I'm just trying to bust it as much as I can and uh, get all that stuff done be, uh, before before I've got no time left basically today. <laughs> so then tonight I can get loads and loads of stuff done. That's one of the overhead lockers which goes over there. I had to take it down so that I could access the roof panel just next to it. And um, so it's just sitting there for the minute. But this is another kind of obviously before, before the end shot. It's just looking very messy, very sawdusty everywhere, it needs a proper good clean. And then hopefully today I'm also going to build the platform where the girls' bed's going to sit, which is about, about yay high, about, about that high. Um, which will leave like a little storage area underneath of it, get rid of this mucky carpet. And, um, and have a, like a little platform for the bed to be on. So we've just finished up with having dinner and I've actually come upstairs to do something quite special right now. So Esme hasn't been feeling too good today. Not necessarily that she's ill, she's just not, she's having, I don't want to hear, I don't want to let her hear me say this, but she's having one of them sensitive days. <laughs> um, which is understandable, like, I was just, I was thinking about it earlier, like, she's going to be a teenager next year and it's just, it's really weird. So, she's been having one of them days today and I decided that I was going to go upstairs and just, I was going to make her a nice bath and make it all look really nice. Um, I have this um, bath oil, it's not actually mine, it's mum's. Um, I'll show you now. So this is the oil and it's actually a bath oil for mothers or parents. Um, but it's called Mother's Bath Oil and um, it's, it makes you basically feel really relaxed and I asked mum the other day, can I, can I use it? And she said, um, yeah, you can go use it to relax and, and things like that. And so I was like, okay, great. And then I used it and it was really, really good. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go put this in Esme's bath, run her bath, make it all nice and cozy in here. Maybe like her, she got an, an, a new candle, so I'm gonna go light her candle. And also I'm gonna sneak her iPad, put it in here and put Stranger Things on because I think she's re-watching it. And because I'm such a good sibling, I will also go and make her a, a hot drink and a cold drink. Oh, also, before we roll the nice montage, um, I also want to quickly add that I feel so um, weird because, not weird, but it's just, it, it, it's just like weird to me because a lot of people I know or I've talked to or my friends, they don't have that good of a, um, not that they don't have a good relationship with their sister or brother, um, it's just that they're not like, like really, like I consider my all my siblings like my best friends and like I love them all and I always try to treat them to things and do special things for them and just make sure that they know like, 
you know so but it's just it's weird because some of my friends are like oh my gosh my siblings are so annoying i hate having younger siblings um and so but i i, I mean i kind of understand that because obviously they're younger and they find things more exciting but to me like i don't find that annoying because i just i think of it as they're my little sisters like of course they're going to be excited about things they're still young and stuff like that um but yeah i just i think it's kind of weird how i how different people look on things like I look on it as like you know I love my sisters and I do anything for them and then some other people just don't have that much of a a great friendship and relationship with their siblings and I actually had a message from someone the other day saying I wish that I had the same uh, relationship that you did with your have with your si with your sisters and I just felt horrible because I was like I literally said I'll be your I'll be your um extra big sister and she was like oh thank you but um yeah I feel really sad that some people feel that way. But yeah, anyway, um, roll the nice bath montage. Come in. Okay. <laughs> Have you heard me? <laughs> okay, so I know today you've been having a teen a, a teenage moment kind of. Right? See so guys, this is why I didn't want to say it because Esme Esme's just Esme's always strong, aren't you, Esme? She's always strong. Anyway, today, I mean tonight, I've done something for you in the bathroom and I want you to go look at it, okay? I'm scared. I'm scared. Right, sorry for the noise downstairs. Dad's doing some work in Mila's room, so it might be a bit loud. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna open the door. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Smells juicy. Okay. <gasps> wow! Oh, it's dark. I'll put the light on just for two seconds. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bright. Wait. Okay, there? Okay. Wow. <laughs> you even put on Stranger Things! I, I, knew, I knew that you were going to, sorry I had to mix the oil and stuff, but I knew that you were going to want to watch that because that's what you yes. were watching recently. I love Stranger Things. Thank you, Liz! Alright, love it. Enjoy! Bye! Oh, hey, hello there! Told you guys. Right, so, I have just got out of the bath, hence why I look like this, with this towel wrapped around my head to keep the, my wet hair off my top. Because every time I get out of the bath or the shower or a pool or anything and I'm wet, like Isabel, she doesn't even wrap her hair up in a towel. Like she just leaves it to drift out a bag and I hate wet clothes stuck to me. Like it is like, oh, I cannot, can't even think about it. But yes, yeah, so that's why I always tie it up like this. Um, but I just came out of the bath. I'm so, so, so grateful, Isabel. And I have great, amazing sisters that do things like that for me. But yeah, I'm so relaxed and happy now. I'm about to carry on at watching Stranger Things on my telly. I am obsessed. So me and Chris just swapped <laughs> Mila for a camera. She does not want to be put down today. Anyway, the wallpaper is finally up and done. Honestly, this took about... 10 minutes to do. The first piece was really hard to like line up, but after that, when you get used to what you're doing, basically it's really easy. Chris actually said, we need to find some more and paint up wallpaper other places in the house because it's really, really, really easy to use and it's so effective. I will show you in a moment, but I can't believe how happy I am. Like it's, nothing else is done in this room. Obviously, over the last few days, we've been sorting bits out, we've been plastering, then we had to sand all the fresh plastering down, paint it, um, cut all the panelling out, etc. But, oh, I love it. This is how it looks. Ta da Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I cannot cope, it's so pretty. And then this bottom half of the wall is going to be panelled. And oh my goodness, I just, I love it so, so, so much. It's just amazing. This wall, I don't actually, I keep saying it's quite expensive, but I don't actually know how much wallpaper costs because we don't tend to really use wallpaper very often. 
but this I think cost about £120. I think that's slightly expensive, but I don't know. I might be wrong. All wallpaper might cost that. I, I don't know because I don't buy it. But it was £120 and it's only a small, like, you know, it's not a big, massive, it's not like rolls and rolls and rolls that will do walls. It's only done that space, but it is really, really, really good quality. It went up really easy and it's small business as well. So you kind of, you don't mind paying a bit more to support small businesses. And I just love it so much. The only problem is, well, it's not really a problem, but the I don't know what color to do the rest of the room now. If to paint the walls in here, I kind of feel like we should. And what color to do the wall panel in as well, because the color that I'd originally thought was these colors. I'm super pretty. I really like kind of like the dusky pink, but I don't think any of those colors really match the the paint. I mean, maybe. The Good, I'm about to take you to bed in a minute. Um, yeah, I kind of don't feel like those ones match now so much. Maybe that pink, the second pink one. Face. Maybe not. Like uh, I'm not sure. What? <laughs> what colour paint? Yeah, I don't think pink. No, now I'm moving back. I just don't think any of them match that wallpaper. Maybe something like the creamy really like beige colour on the lid. What colour would you say I should do the panelling? And not only should I do the, yeah, maybe that. Maybe like something like that would be nice. Or maybe I should just be bold and go for something like that. <laughs> I'm so excited, but I don't know which colour to go for. So comment down below. Anyway, um, yeah, what do you think? What do you think to the wallpaper? What do you think to paint ideas? Comment down below and let me know. Come here, you Mr. Pain Idea. Stop playing with the pain. You don't touch that, okay? You don't touch that. Come here, give me a snuggle. <laughs> I don't feel like you've seen this. Is more friendly. What, darling? What's next we see? What next we see? Oh, I see the In the forest, we did. <laughs> we did. I don't feel like I've seen Jace too much today because he's been playing with but, the girls. Because but we saw Game War. <gasps> we did. We saw the Game War and Tiger. <gasps> Big and, Green Man Tiger. Yeah, and and the grass we saw it. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, mm. we saw it and we we see it and he tries in it. Us, but he went in, but he took, but he can. Okay, but I can't talk. You can't talk. But, but you can he talk. Can. You can, can't you? You can but talk for England. Can, but, but you can. I can. What's on our one? Mm. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. We have my brother. And you did, didn't you? Strawberries? Yeah, but they don't take me. But me go in. But me go in the baby room. We're in the baby's room now. Yeah. Are we going to go in your room and go to bed? Yeah, and Mama going to wake me up. Mama will wake you up in the morning, won't I? No, not Dada, not Dada. No, our Mama will wake you up in the morning. Yeah. And we'll not have a snuggle. No, I am not. No, guys. Not the older guys. <laughs> Not the older guys. No, just mama. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here because Mila's screaming her little head off and I need to go and take her again. Get Jace to bed. So we're going to say goodnight here. Thank you all so much for watching. Say, so see you tomorrow. See you. Oh, no. Will we see you tomorrow? I don't know because I don't know what day it is. But we'll see you guys. So it's actually Sunday here tomorrow. Anyway, we're not going to get into today's. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 pm. Say goodnight, guys. Good night, guys. Mm. Mm. Ah, good boy. Mm. <laughs>